<clears throat> so I'm kind of late. Um, let's get started on this uh, on our stream for Isaac Repentance. So this is probably gonna be my last. This will be my last stream for Repentance for a little bit because I kind of want to play uh, Ripto's Rage. So in the next stream we'll be doing Ripto's Rage. Starting it. Well, first we're gonna go get all the shit we need to unlock uh, the skill points on uh, Spiral One, and then we're gonna do Ripto's Rage. All right, so. In the last episode, we unlocked Azazel and Lazarus and Eden. Let's do a quick run as Azazel because he's honestly a pretty fun character. They're a pretty fun character. Right. So Azazel starts with Flight and a very short-ranged Brimstone. And the Fool card. No bombs, no keys. They're like one of the specialty characters, which even then, you know, I don't mind playing as as Azel. Like a lot of people I know that like make the joke, like make jokes when playing as Azel because these, because it used to be pretty, e it used to be like easy mode playing as Azel because you know you got Brimstone and a decent damage stat at start, and you can fly. But they've received a couple of nerfs over that time. Sorry. Real quick, take my shoes off. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's, Azazel's kind of like changed a little. It has changed the most out of any character since Rebirth. But even then, a lot of the other characters have changed as well. Some of them for the better, and some of them for the worse. Like, the biggest improvement was one character we'll be seeing way later on, because I don't like spoiling characters until I've unlocked them. Uh, our item room is the other way. Let's go get the item room. But yeah, having the ability of flight and being able to shoot over rocks makes the game a little bit easier. In that sort of sense. Technology. So I don't know if the game like looks a little bit laggy on your guys' end. Uh, there's no other program running besides um, Streamlabs OBS, which is what I'm using to stream and record this at the same time. So if it looks choppy on your end, I'm sorry. I don't know what could be causing it. Maybe we'll turn the filter off. That's what's doing it. Because I have it recording the screen, like through display record, because recording it through windowed mode for some reason makes it choppy. For my end. Yeah, I'd. Azazel versus Gurglings. Alright, so another thing about Azazel, kind of interestingly, is, is that he is actually. Well, much like the rest of the characters in this game, he is based on the story of the Bible. Um, Azazel actually doesn't really have a lot of mention, in all honesty, that I remember. I think he's, like, mentioned twice in the Bible, but there was also, like, the whole thing in the Book of Enoch, where he's mentioned a lot more. But essentially, um, he was a, uh, they were, a, I'm pretty sure it's a guy, but they were a fallen angel. Um, I think I heard that the reason why he had you know, fallen was because he felt sympathy for Lucifer who was the first angel to you know, be cast down to hell that's why Lucifer is the devil uh, but I'm pretty sure I think I remember hearing that he felt sympathetic for him and so he was casted down little brimstone so now we have a full like brimstone beam buddy that is not a fun time in that room. <laughs> so as you guys see with Azazel's Brimstone, it does that weird thing where the technology laser wraps around it. I've always like liked that effect since they implemented it. I want to say it came in Afterbirth, actually. So I remember doing a run on Afterbirth when um, I did the, uh, the computer savvy run. You know where you have technology and technology 2 and Spoonbender. 
Um, I remember doing a run where I got brimstone with that, and the technology laser wrapped around the brimstone beam. Super nice. One of my favorite effects. Uh, oh shit. Kill that guy there. Gemini. Mopped the floor with him. Uh. Yes, please. So, Goat Head it makes it to where the Devil Deal is always opened, and you will always get a Devil Deal no matter how much damage you take on the run, or on the floor. Uh, this is a really good item that combos in with an item that we'll unlock later on. That, like. Gives you the chance to still get angel deals if you've got double deal precedent. Shot speed down. Should know it's gonna be spiders. We'll just full card out of here. We don't need the full card for anything else. Uh, I'm just gonna donate. I was gonna say we could just buy a little bag we could buy a little baggy if we get another coin. But getting the store upgrades is a little bit more important on my agenda. Because getting these upgrades is a bitch and a half as to how long it takes. Secret room? Damn I'm good. <laughs> just kidding. It's kind of like a predictable area because there's two rooms that are like, we're night next to each other with one room's full of space. And so, if the secret room, if the super secret room should be right here. With an angel statue inside of it. So normally this, uh, being able to like camp on top of these corner rocks here would probably be like really nice to do, but those pin enemies, those miniature pin worms can actually like go above rocks and angle around to hit you. I lost a couple of runs because of that, because when I first played Repentance I had no idea those enemies could angle themselves to do that. <laughs> Should time that better. That's a mimic chest. If you touch it, you take damage, but you do get rewards out of it. All these keys. I think these are all range down grade pills. Both the shopkeeper. those red flies. <laughs> That's the power of Big Chubby. So Big Chubby is just a like grub worm sort of thing that just like floats across the screen at a very slow pace but does a pretty decent amount of damage. I'd assume it does decent damage.
money. Maybe we can donate some more. So, uh, let's go back to shop. That's really fun room for a little brimstone there. Just standing or float above one spot and just have him take care of the enemies. <laughs> oh, too close to the TNT barrel. Alright, Mega Maul. So this is one of those bio, uh, bosses that stand there idly. And it's like not a fucking problem at all. I mean, we're putting ourselves at risk by doing it, but we're going to take Dark Bum. So Dark Bum will take all the red hearts, and he has a chance to convert them into either friendly spiders or into, like, I think, black hearts? So yeah, we're probably on the, on the verge of, like, royally fucking ourselves. But, maybe we can make this a complete win. <laughs> Come on, Dark Bum, pay out. Yes! So Dark Bum used to be like the MVP uh, familiar back in Rebirth and Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus. Because he like paid out a lot of times with spirit hearts but I'm start I think that pay out re rewards are kind of like a little bit nerfed because I know that a lot of stuff in repentance got nerfs to the point where a lot of people didn't like the changes that were created And he's dead. Uh, treasure room. The dark bum investment doesn't seem so stupid now. PJs! Uh, the tapeworm trinket. I'm not, I don't know what stat that is. I want to say it's probably range or... Sh I think it's range. Ancient recall. I believe that's one of the Magic the Gathering reference cards. There's like at least, there's a couple of them. Two of diamonds, that multiplies our money, uh, the money that we have at the time. I was gonna like shit if that was a Joker card, but I don't think we have Jokers unlocked yet. No, I, I think they're unlocked by default. Because there's a couple of playing cards you have to unlock by doing specific achievements. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm positive Joker isn't one of them. It's been a while since I've done a fresh save file playthrough of this game, so if I do miss some details I will have to ask you for forgiveness. Oh, Excuse me? That pinworm hit me and I didn't take damage. Oh, that one took that one did it. Nope. <laughs> Dry baby. Uh, Dry Baby isn't too bad of a familiar. If he uh, takes damage for you, then um, uh, 
he'll eventually like do like a screen nuke effect where like he'll deal damage to all things in the room that is I think it's teardrop locket or teardrop necklace or something like that evil charm no the teardrop ne that's a trinket I was thinking I don't know exactly what this evil necklace thing does. I know it's a luck upgrade. I should have installed that a uh, mod that tells me what items effects are. Judgment. We'll pop it here. Uh, it's a uh, judgment wanting money, which I don't have any of. <laughs> Something's wrong. So, uh, I was like on the Steam store like the other day and Saw that they had like this old game called Luxor, which I used to play ev like the ever living shit out of. Uh, back when I, we had an old family PC. Um, Cause my mom played a lot of it too. She, uh, it's also where I like played Peggle and a couple other computer games like Insane Aquarium. I'm not sure if that game is even around at all. Cause I used to, I know it used to be, I'm pretty sure it used to be an old like, Popcap property because Popcap had Peggle, Plants vs. Zombies, maybe another game I can't think of that I probably played. But I remember it. I remember Luxor because I used to play it like all the time when I was on the computer. Uh, and they had like the entire collection of Luxor games on Steam Cheap. So I went and got them just to find out that I can't even play Luxor 1 and 2 because my computer is too new. But every other game works, thank god. Uh, so we... All we got left is the boss. I don't think we have any other ways to get more money besides bombing the donation machine. And I don't feel like stepping on progress that we've already, you know, dumped into. It feels like more of a waste than it does, like, progression. Let's go fight the boss. Gertie Jr. Alright, so the Magician Tarot card, or Tarot card, um, gives us homing shots for one room. Really helpful. Uh, we can get Sister Maggie or the Dark Matter. I'm probably gonna get the Dark Matter. You know what, because I like, you know, having the conjoined transformation, I'll grab Sister Maggie as well. Why the fuck not? So now we can shoot three beams. And our brimstone beams have a chance to cause fear to the enemy. I f forgot we were actually one away from actually getting the conjoined transformation before I grab Sister Maggie. Okay. So that is a that glowing chest over there. Is actually a really cool chest because you can play this until it pays out with an item. So two hearts is not good in our case. The lovers is not good. Uh, it's actually good in our case. Dark bomb. Shot speed. All right. So uh, when it pays out with an item or absolutely nothing, we can quit playing. Mr. Me's appeared in the basement. So it paid out with nothing. Well, that stinks. We did get uh, some more health.
tar uh, tarot card. This is the world. We have a demon judgment and a bomb judgment. Something's wrong and speed down. So I'm not going to play the demon judgment because that requires me gambling with health that I can't guarantee I'm going to be able to replace. And bomb judgment takes forever to pay out. So I might just play bomb judgment here in a minute actually. I was waiting for the, the laughter of the wall masters, but instead we got stuck with a more annoying for, uh, enemy pin. Uh, temperance, which spawns a blood donation machine. It would be nice if I didn't have to gamble with health that I can't afford to gamble. Well, I can, but I don't feel like playing risky th Says it takes forever to pay out, and he pays out in like, what was that, like five or six bombs? What the fuck? Wait, this is sad bombs? Uh, so now when bombs explode, they shoot out uh, brimstone lasers? Or maybe technology lasers? I don't know if these got nerfed to an extent, because I know that there are there is one bomb synergy that is nerfed. To where it only happens on occasions. Oh, it actually does have the brimstone, uh, the technology brimstone beam. And there's dry baby's effect. Steam sale. Uh, that's 50% off all shop items. Grab all this money here. Wall masters. Alright, we'll get in this time. Speed upgrade. Friendly spider. The sun. We'll use the Magician on the boss and come back and grab the Sun card, because, um... The Sun card is a very amazing card. Okay, I was gonna say, we haven't, we haven't seen the shop yet? So that one dropped a battery, which... The unfortunate thing is we can't even use the battery. You don't have a space bar item. Blood bombs. This is an HP upgrade. And it gives all of our bombs like a... Uh, a blood creep upon explosion. Really fun. Uh, we got Buddy in the Box for 7 cents. We'll cross it off the Platinum God checklist. Donation machine jammed. Now I can have as much money as I want for the rest of the run. Not that it'll matter. Because so I think next floor is our final um, shop of the run, so. Loki. <laughs> if I could, I would actually revive Loki. That wasn't a very fair fight. Uh, yes, please. We're not going to take Gimpy because I don't think this run really needs Gimpy. 
I took Dead Cat because nine lives and being one step closer to the copy transformation is nice because I have to get that achievement still, so. Getting the achievement crossed off the list is good enough for me. Grab the sun card. Like I said, I remember it this time. I usually have a really bad time remembering stuff, but today I remember I remembered this one. So next floor. Alright, so the sun card will show us the entirety of the map. It'll heal us if we need healing, if we have red heart containers that are empty. And it'll also uh, deal damage to all enemies in the room upon use. <laughs> that dip just committed suicide. So now, like I said before, all of our money is pretty much just for us to be able to spend because we don't have a donation machine anymore for this run. So Buddy in the Box will um, change if, will change appearance and to have different tiers um, every time that he changes or every time that they change appearance. They're pretty much just like a standard familiar. I don't think there's anything special about Buddy in the Box that require that is like you know like a must pick up. Just it was cheap, and I thought you know why not. So uh, this is a remote detonator. So now when we set up, when we set down a bomb. We can actually like go to a place that we want to be out of the range of the bomb's explosion. And press the space bar to uh, ignite the plunger, which will blow up the bomb. Uh, the best part about remote detonator is that there is like no charge time so pretty much you can use this as much as you want it's essentially kind of like uh what's that command console i don't think it's debug 8 i haven't really messed with the command console enough to know what the commands are but there's a command that you can input that um will give you the ability to have infinite use on your um space bar items. So sorry for that like awkward pause there. But I had like a notification pop up on my phone and I was checking out to see what it was. It looked like it said something about line webtoon. What the f- That's like three, wine, that's three line webtoon notifications right in a row. If you guys don't know what webtoon is, it's a place where people like make comics. Really nice app, it's completely free. Uh, they had a lot of really good reads on there, like uh, uh, The Gamer, God of High School, Down to Earth, uh, Room of Swords. I've talked about it a couple of different times on a couple of different streams. I like it, personally. I'm just waiting on um, Down to Earth and Sky to uh, update, because they've been kind of on a hiatus for a little while. Scatter bombs. So you get five bombs and now when your bombs explode you get little bombs inside of those bombs. So while you're blowing shit up you can blow shit up. <laughs> I used to uh, look at the those yo dog memes like all the time when I used to play on the internet. I used to think they were like you know hilarious. Like some of them, you know, probably are still kind of funny, but after like your 38th one, you're like, okay, this is not very funny anymore. <laughs> Alright, the mom fight. How easy is this going to be? I was going to say, as soon as I say that, they pull off an insta- uh, mom pulls off an insta-kill move. <laughs> 
Uh, still no boss rush because we weren't fast enough. We took we took like a minute too long. Uh, sorry about that notification there. I forgot I was recording display. Horror Babylon. Uh, we're all about to have a curse. That's just my uh, my friends were in our group Discord because we were gonna play Terraria later on. Whenever uh, we were all available. So Horror Babylon is a uh, oh, I did not notice that spike rock till now because I was kind of like distracted. Two spades it multiplies our keys. Uh, so Horror Babylon uh, is a like damage upgrade, but you have to be on low one uh, red hearts in order for its effect to take place, which is fine because when I play as Azazel, I try to get rid of all my red hearts as soon as possible. <laughs> Because devil deals are good. Unless you're going for a specific ending that requires you to not get devil deals. And instead of get angel deals. Oh god. Those fucks were like... We I didn't even notice. <laughs> a free leech. <laughs> uh, this is worthless. The reason why I say that is because Leech um, will t uh, attach to enemies and they'll have a chance to recover back red health, red heart health, which, as you guys can tell, I have, you know, all tw I have 24 red heart containers. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, I don't think you even have 24, I think it's 12 max. <laughs> That's yeah, 12 max. I was thinking 24 because of Zelda. I think you can have 24 heart containers in Zelda. Been a long... Uh, been a minute or 20 since I played Zelda again anyway, so... It wouldn't surprise me if I was inaccurate. the hell dark bum you are a friend up until now he's like I'm gonna try and kill you now daddy long legs you thought maybe he's trying to warn us that daddy long legs was in the boss room that was a Midas touch effect because the foot was golden oh man I can't think about gold without thinking about prints you know, gold experience. Um, when I think about Prince, it reminds me of Ready Player 2. I'm not gonna talk more about that because it's kind of like a spoiler. So if you want to understand more of where that whole thing with Prince and Ready Player 2 comes in, uh, read Ready Player 2. Awesome book, by the way. I think I might have briefly talked about it on my uh, last stream. Because Ernest Klein is actually one of my one of my favorite um, authors. Because like my all-time favorite author is Jeff Kenny, by any and every means. Uh, the the Di Diary of Wimpy Kids series is just great. Uh, this is that uh, the Stars card's worthless in the womb because there's no item rooms to teleport to. But uh, yeah, the diary, di the diary of a Wimpy Kid series was a series I grew up with because I like saw it one day during uh, live uh, at li in the library class. Like yeah, there was like an actual class back in our elementary school that was where you like literally sat in the library. It wasn't study hall because we didn't get study hall until middle school. 
But essentially, you sat in a library all day. And, uh... No. I think if you use the Bible on Mom's heart... As I say, because I know that with the Mom fight, if you use the Bible, um... You'll instantly kill Mom. And you'll get an achievement for it. But I think if you use the Bible on Mom's heart, you die instantly. I might be wrong. I might be thinking it's a different boss. But I know that there is one boss that will kill you if you do use the Bible on it. But what I was saying with uh, that whole thing with library class. So we kind of just like sat in the library. Or as they tried to uh, call it to make it you know, seem a little bit more cooler was the media center. Um, we watched this little ad for the Scholastic uh, Book Fair. Because we have it, every, they had it every, they have it every year. Um, and during one of the ads, it showed, uh, for a, di a show diary of a wimpy kid. And normally, I'm not really big on reading because I just never really like standing still, like sitting still. I mean, unless it was like playing video games, because these video games give me a reason to, you know use some more of my muscle power as opposed to trying to read. I, guess, I don't know. Either way, when I was younger, I did not like to read at all. Oh, sh I used that freaking strength card by mistake. But I didn't like to read when I was younger. And, um, I had first shown interest into the Diary Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. And my mom and dad actually went and got a, uh, First got me my, my first ever paperback copy, which then I eventually got a hardback copy and got the rest of the series and read through all of them. Like, I... Honest to God, will recommend that series to anyone who's looking for, like, a good book to read. Uh, that one is good. Um, even the, uh... The, like, spinoff-esque series for... Uh, Rowley Jefferson, which is Greg Heffley's best friend in the uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. I uh, did not want to do that. We're going to play the key, uh, key judgment because we have no more use for keys. Oh, stapler. That's a damage upgrade. Uh, that when we get to where chests no longer require us to uh, use keys to open them. Yeah, that was intentional, by the way. I want to play the demon judgment a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, game. I'll let him take one of my lives. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can beat Mom. Uh, just for extra safety. I guess there wasn't none near him. Okay. I'm pretty sure we have enough to beat Mom, honestly. Or Mom's heart, I should say. Okay, this could be a problem. <laughs> Damn it. You know, I'm gonna actually gonna risk it. I'm gonna see if the uh, the Bible will actually kill mom's heart. I don't think it will. I'm almost positive it probably won't, but you never know till you try. <sighs> okay. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um.
The streak's on the line. Fuck it, let's do it. We're going to Shoal. Okay, so Shoal is... Uh, Transcendence Ending. So I'm kind of glad we skipped that one because the Transcendence Ending is probably not um, YouTube friendly. Like, it's not like graphic, but essentially it shows Isaac hanging himself. So to avoid any kind of like issues, which even then I could have just asked my editor to cut that scene out entirely if it did happen. Um, I'm just gonna skip it and go straight to fucking Shoal. Like... Shoal carries that same rule that the Womb does, where if you get hit, it takes a full heart of damage. So you have to like... So pretty much when you come in here, it's no more fucking around. Like, you gotta like be completely ready to do this. Also, uh, just as a warning, do not try to use the Bible on Satan, because it will kill you. I can't confirm that Satan's the one that kills you. Which, Satan, you probably already would have guessed, is the boss of Shoal. It's not that big of a spoiler because, you know, quite honestly, you have to kind of expect it to be the king of hell. Well, the one who rules over hell would be the boss of hell, so. But yeah, don't use the Bible on Satan, but you can use it on mom or mom's heart. Where it lives, and well, whatever it lives is. So, use it on Mom's heart. You can use it on Mom. It'll kill them instantly. But do not use it on Satan because you will die. I believe the same goes for Isaac if you try to use it on him. But well, I shouldn't be saying too much because it's a bit of a spoiler there. All right, so this is a six pip room. I believe the six pip is a D one hundred. This will give us the D six. D4 and D20 effect, I think. Let's do it. Uh, pretty decent spacebar item. I'm not really too huge on Eye of the Occult, which is our uh, effect right there that's making us fire these tears. Uh, this might actually be kind of fun, though. Money equals power, Guppy's tail, Charm of the Vampire, Host Hats, and we have Explosion Immunity. Alright. The heads of the Headless Horseman. Uh, I have to be careful here because if I die at all, this runs over. <laughs> But I did it all for the nookie. Oh, shit. Alright, I put this... Uh, that was kind of my own fault. I do not want to do another Zazel run right after that one. Um, but yeah, we actually did get a couple of a couple of achievements gotten there. So, uh... I'm going to wait a little bit before we do our first Eden run because of how Eden tokens work. So for those who don't know how Eden tokens work, um, essentially when you do a run as Eden, you spend a token. And Eden is the character with the most confusing, or not confusing, he's the one with the most randomized stats. Because no matter what you do, there is never going to be an Eden run that is always going to be the same as another one, unless they run the same seed, of course. Because uh, Eden runs, he'll start with random stats. And on top of that, he'll have a random starting space bar item and a random starting passive item. You never know what you're going to get when you spend an Eden token. And the way that you get Eden tokens is by beating Mom's Heart. So I want to try to beat, her, beat Mom's Heart a couple of times before I start doing Eden runs. There's that, and Eden's also one of the most fun characters to play with. So I want to save him for when it comes time to start doing the fun runs. Well, Eden's also, I think, of them anyway, so. I don't think it really matters because it's just a, you know, a fucking fictional character in a video game, but. Sometimes I do worry that, you know, I'm going to overstep something and really upset people, so. I'm just doing my best to try to keep all parties happy. That's a mimic. Uh, 
I'm gonna try to get some health first before I go and open that mimic chest because as you saw in that last run risking health health can like almost help you out in some ways but almost fuck you in some ways too Alright, come on, monster. I'll puke up all over him. Yeah. Alright, so Kane's starting item is Lucky Foot. Uh, it's a luck upgrade, as to be expected, from the name Lucky Foot. Um, and it also makes it to where Pills effects are not, are like neutral or good effects, but you'll never know what the pill effect is till you take the pill. So it's like a weaker version of um, PhD. But the difference is, is that, um, well, another thing is also is that this is Repentance Cane. Regular Cane doesn't have this effect when he starts with Fucky Foot. He just has the luck upgrade. There's also another thing that Cane can start with, but you have to unlock it first. So that's why I don't really, I'm not really talking about that. I don't have it there because I haven't unlocked it. Because if it's the unlock requirement, I think it is, then we're going to be waiting a little bit before we see that start happening on Kane runs. Especially if it's a challenge mode run because some of those challenge mode runs are extremely difficult. Like, I made the tech savvy one look easy because tech savvy is an easy challenge. But... Onan Streak and fucking the Speed Challenge. They're a nightmare. Like. Seriously, somebody come over to my house and stream those challenges for me because I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just go back to the boss. Yeah, Baby Plum. We'll do the, uh, the pacifist technique because... Kane doesn't have a spacebar item at start. And let's hope we can survive Baby Plum long enough to get it. Uh. And right now. Nope. It's gonna do this. Come on, I looked so like I was like actually you no know, good at the game in the last run. <laughs> Can I get the Bible? Uh, no. The sun. The chariot. The sun. The devil. Let's pop a sun card in here. The sun. And we'll take a sun card with us. Well, we'll use the chariot in one room, but we'll take the sun card with us. We could have very easily cleared up this room with just our regular tiers, but I don't feel like going through all that hassle. Also, Kane wears an eye patch, so there are certain tiers effects that only affect the right, uh, the uh, a certain eye, and um, there are some effects that do happen that will happen on the eye that's covered up, and so nothing will like nothing will happen when effects cover that eye. Mr. Meg is up here in the basement. Freezer baby, or cube baby. So cube baby is a little thing you can kick it around and if it hits enemies there's a chance it can cause freeze effect. Like a frozen status condition. If I can get a second bomb to uh, unlock the way to those chests, that'd be great. I need about two bombs. Need about tree fitty. Uh, I don't know why. I was at work on uh, Friday, and that's all I could think about was that episode of South Park when uh, Chef's parents kept telling that story about the Loch Ness Monster wanting tree fitty. <laughs> I 
Oops. Uh, so we got a deck of tarot, car tarot cards. Which will take that because no space bride is. Or, a space bride is better than none, I guess. Uh, the Emperor. Which, if we pop this card, will instantly be teleported to the boss room. Uh. I believe the deck of tarot cards also has a chance to give us, like, playing cards. Such as, like, the two of diamonds and the two of clubs and spades. Maybe even the joker card, if it's unlocked. And this is where I'm going to start looking bad again. Well, start showing I'm bad at the video, <laughs> bad at video games again. Uh... So, another thing is that I don't know if it happened in Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus, but um, don't let those black flies stand near the poop for too long because there's a chance to become those little turret flies that you just saw a second ago. If they stay near the poop too long to become those flies. I learned that in a uh, video on YouTube by the channel Isaac Guru. Dreamcatcher! That's actually a pretty nice little item. So Dreamcatcher um, has an effect where during the transition screens where you see that, you know, the memory that is making Isaac cry. Instead of showing those memories, what happens is it'll show you what item is in your item room and then who your boss is for that floor. And if you're fighting multiple bosses or, mul or you have multiple item rooms in that floor, it'll show you both of those as well. It's so good. Uh, the only problem I have with it is is that in greed mode, that item is bugged and does not work properly. And I can only attest this because I fell victim to it lying to me before. But even then, the scheme's still relatively, you know, new. It's gonna have a few bugs here and there. And it's not like, you know, it's game breaking that the you know, thing lied to me or anything. So the reason why I didn't go across those spikes for the rainbow baby is because I kind of want to try to get some bombs first. I much prefer not spending health if I don't, if I, you know, don't have to spend health. If I can get a bomb too, that'd be nice. Sacrifice room. We're not going to play sacrifice room. Uh, so I'm not getting a uh, bomb on this run, on this floor, I should say, unless the boss wants to drop one. Which there is a chance that we can get an item that drops bombs from the boss. Duke of flies. So Duke of Flies is actually a pretty easy boss. Because all he does is he spawns, like, you know, a bunch of flies. If you manage to get the, uh, get three fly-related items before you fight Duke of Flies, this, bo this boss becomes, like, easy as pie. Because, uh, having three fly items makes you, uh, Beelzebub, the Lord of the Flies. So, pretty much every, like, fly enemy in the game, like, becomes charmed by you. So they all, like, attack enemies for you. Unlock the cellar. Okay. So the cellar is just a variation of the basement. Where it's supposed to be like a harder floor. Which there are some really bad cellar bosses that I hate more than anything. Uh, placenta. Uh, in real life, placenta is the stuff that... Comes with after babies? Like, with baby? I guess. I don't remember exactly. But I know it has something to do with like childbirth. 
So it's kind of like... It's kind of disgusting. But that's the miracle of, you know... Life, I guess. <laughs> Can't really think of anything to say. My bra I'm like brain dead. I've been brain dead almost the past three friggin' weekends. It's always the weekend, too. I think it's because of that, you know, working 50 hours. Because I'm not used to working so much overtime. I'm used to not working any overtime at all, but... I don't mind it, actually. I mean... I could deal with a lot less bullshit than I already have to deal with, which... Even then, you're gonna get that anywhere you go. Oh, shit. Alright, we already lost our Devil Deal uh, chances anyways. Not that I'm, like, too worried about getting a Devil Deal as it is. Uh, Spider Mod. It's too uh, unfortunate we weren't able to get that Dreamcatcher in the last run. Because Dreamcatcher is a really, really, really cool item. Um, so, it's getting to be close to 11 o'clock. So... I'm going to try to get as far as I can in this run, and if we end up going over 11 because the run wasn't finished yet, then I'll keep going till the run is done, but if we die before 11 o'clock, like, I'm going to stay close to like 11.55, or the 10.55 range, which you guys will know because I'll say something on my end, because you guys probably aren't watching it in my, in my time zone, <laughs> because I always like record and stream and always state what's like in my time zone. So when it gets close to there, I'll give it like a warning. So if we die too close to time, then... Oh, hey. Yeah, Placenta has a chance over time to regenerate health. Uh, that's almond milk. I... think we'll say fuck it and we'll grab it for this run. Oh yeah, there's actually something kind of neat that happened yesterday. With, um... Because I finally got to play D&D &D after a long week of... Or after a long two weeks of not being able to. Because uh, when we hang out... Because me and my friends hang out uh, every other weekend. So we, when we hang out, we usually play Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, so... Because we have, like... We had like four, maybe five campaigns going on at once. So we do like one every time that we hang out. Because it has plenty of time to be able to read up and do the campaign. We're down one campaign right now. Because of reasons. But we were played last weekend. And uh, we actually like... Uh, my one friend who whose house we go over to got the... Uh, Thrasher, uh, the Apple Thrasher Mountain Dew. The new flavor. And oh my gosh, it was actually like pretty good. Because when it comes to Mountain Dew, like Voltage was okay. Like I used to really like Voltage, but now it's I don't care the most for it, honestly. I think now it tastes kinda gross. But even then a lot of soda that I drink nowadays tastes like water in general anyway, so like Voltage used to be like one of my all time favorites, and then it just dropped off. For whatever reason. But uh, the Apple Thrasher. Or whatever it's called. Thrashed Apple or something like that. Either way, it's the Apple is really good. Uh, Blackout, which is the Grape Mountain Dew, is disgusting, I think. The Whiteout, which I don't remember what flavor that is specifically. That, I didn't care the most for that one. The Orange one, which is Livewire. That one was decent. Um, I still got a devil deal for some reason. It's false PhD. I don't feel like fucking myself in this run. Not that, you know, false, not that false PhD will fuck you, like, hard. But I've had a run where I could have saved myself if I didn't have false PhD. Because I needed health really badly. 
and false PhD makes it to where all pills are their bad effects, but they do have an extra effect on top of doing something bad. And one of these effects is, is that they can drop uh, the devil hearts. But the problem is that I was playing as Bethany, so those devil hearts are completely worthless. They just go for item room charges, or item charges, space for item charges. So I was unable to regain health, so I died as soon as I got to the boss that I was attempting to fight for the run. But uh, that... But yeah, when it comes to Mountain Dew, there's not, not really like a lot of really good Mountain Dew flavors, actually. Like I said, there's like the Apple one, there's Code Red. Um, another one that I thought was kind of like meh was definitely like the Dew SA. And the, um, the Frostbite. My friend likes the Frostbite a lot. Uh, another one that was really popular at, around the time that... Blackout, I remember, had a promotion to doing, like, Blackout versus Baja Blast. Uh, I personally don't like Baja Blast that much, either, but it was definitely a lot better than, um, freaking, uh, Grape Mountain Dew. Ugh. Uh, there was also the, uh, the two other, <clears throat> like, Blasts flavors that came out I forget what they're called but my friend my roommate should say bought a couple of them and bought a couple 12 packs of each of them and I tried both of them and they, uh, they were actually like the one of them I forget what it was but it was like in a red can that one was actually pretty good but the orange one ugh, I didn't really care the most for it Alright, so the intruder is a um, passive item that's supposed to like spawn like a spider. If you get hit, the spider will like pop out of your head and then like start wiping out enemies. Torn photo. It's a tears upgrade. Not that we need a tears upgrade because almond milk gives us a massive tears upgrade but gives us random tears every time that we fire. The intruder has a chance to um, also shoot out like a, f a quad shot arc of shots that will um, slow down enemies when they hit. So we're going to go in the curse room without taking damage because if you can get in here for free, you're going to want to abuse that as much as you can. I'm drowsy. I can see forever. This, this will open up all the secret rooms for this floor. Let us run. This floor, that run, there's a item that does that where all secret rooms are opened up for the entirety of the run. But you gotta be lucky enough to find that item. So it's about 10.44 on my end. So... Uh... If I die at any given, well, I, I'm not gonna, you know, say I'm gonna die right now and they call it. But if I die anytime close to now, I'm probably gonna end up having to call it. So let's just hope I can beat Mom's heart in this run. It's a bomb. I like bomb. my ass you can kiss it uh, bombs are key so bombs are key you probably already know what they do but in case you don't bombs are key is uh, the pill effect will just swap the amount of bombs and the amount of keys that you have. So if you're in a pinch and you really need to, you know, switch out for more bombs or more keys and you have 
the pill available to you. There's that, and other times it can come as a random blessing or a curse. Uh, take the Bible. We're on caves one, okay. So the Bible will grant us temper. Uh, will grant us flight for one room. We'll use the magician here. Uh, so it grants you flight for one room, and as I said before, it'll kill mom and mom's heart. Um, upon using it in their boss fight, it's like I do is just use it in the boss fight. Uh, that's eye drops. So eye drops has a really weird property where it's a tears upgrade, but on occasions we shoot more than one tier at a time. I think it's how that one works. I might be thinking of a different tears up, but either way, eye drops is a really nice tears upgrade. So another thing about repentance I forgot to mention earlier, when it comes to the whole thing of taking damage, is that taking damage will nullify your um, chances for an angel or devil deal. Because uh, back in the day of like Afterbirth Plus and Rebirth and all that, taking damage on the curse room would take away your chances from getting devil deals because you took damage. Well now, that no longer happens. And same thing with blood donation machines. If you took, played the blood donation machine, you lost your chance to get devil and angel deals. And as of repentance, that no longer happens. It's no longer counted as taking damage. But taking damage from an enemy is considered taking damage. Oh, thanks, Placenta. Uh, no. We're not taking that. <laughs> I've won a run with it before. But I think it was my Bethany run, actually. I did beat that run with Curse of the Tower, but it's too risky. Like, it is one of the biggest double-edged swords this game has next to another item that we'll see way later on, actually. But I'm not taking it, no. So Curse of the Tower has its perks. If you have like, you know, bomb immunity, explosion immunity. So I think this is, uh, yeah, the black bean, two on touch. So when enemies touch us or hit us, we will fart. And if enemies get caught in that fart, then we will deal damage to them. This game is full of like fart and poop jokes. Which even then there's nothing wrong with that because, you know, Fart jokes are funny on occasion. No matter if you're 5 or you're 82, the occasional fart joke is funny. guys here. I need to uh, do something on my phone here real quick. Okay. Good now. Uh, let's go to the boss fight. It's Fistula. Alright, so Fistula is one of those annoying bosses that break down into multiple pieces upon defeating, you know, one piece. How the fuck did we do that without getting hit? Maybe then it's just Fistula. It's one of the easier bosses of the game. Okay. Depths 1. I'm just going to use the Bible. It's, I'm not on Depths 2 yet, so I don't have to worry about it. So I think that's the No Trinket? The No Trinket makes it to where... Uh, Item rooms and shops and boss drops will never contain spacebar items anymore. It's really helpful if you have a spacebar item that you like but you don't want to get rid of. 
and you don't want to have to encounter that thing where you have to, you know, get rid of your space per item. Got them all in once. So we got Midnight Snack, Bomb's Pearls, and the Magic 8 Ball. And Mystery Dolly. <laughs> Uh, this run has become winnable. Or unlosable now. And we're gonna fuck it up right here. I can guarantee- I can just feel it. It's just a feeling that I got. Here's the bananas, as you say. Some, it's something to that effect. It's been a little off since I've listened to Eminem. I used to listen to him, like, a lot throughout all of... Throughout, like, the last half of middle school and throughout all of high school, I listened to Eminem. The reason why I say, that, like, the last half is because in the first half of middle school, I played a lot of SmackDown vs. Raw. And, um... The soundtrack to the original one was, like, the fucking best. It had, like, Power Band 5000... And there was a... I'm pretty sure there's another song on there that I remember. It's been a long, long time since I've seen... A. Gameplay. And B. Even played the game myself. But I'm almost positive that there was a song on that sound on the original SmackDown vs. Raw soundtrack. That was actually a song featured in the original Tony Hawk. Pro Skater. I'm almost positive that, Well... I know that, no, that wasn't the original Tony Hawk. It was Tony Hawk 2, because when Worlds Collide was on there, which was also on Tony Hawk 2, but I'm most positive there was one other song that was on there that was from Tony Hawk 2. I think it was that one song, you know, Turn it up, make some noise. Like that song. I can't remember the title because, like I said, it's been a long bit since I've remotely touched, um, SmackDown vs. Raw, so I could even be thinking of a different game. Or I could just be making links to it with the fact of Power Man 5000 being in SmackDown vs. Raw, but also being in um, Tony Hawk 2. Speaking of Tony Hawk 2, that was actually like a really awesome game. And I think, actually, now that I remember, it was the second highest rated game of all time on Metacritic. So even then, you know, it, like I said before, it's an awesome fucking game. Uh, like, Tony Hawk 1 was fun, but the most memorable thing about Tony Hawk in general was definitely its soundtracks. There was that in Tony Hawk Underground 1. Underground 1 and Underground 2 were big favorites of people. Ooh, it's a flat file. Like, I remember playing Tony Hawk Underground. That was a really fun game. So the flat file makes it to where there is no more spikes. As long as you're holding the trinket. So yeah, even the ones in the sacrifice rooms are gone. The ones in the door frames of the curse rooms are gone. Um, if spikes spawned anywhere else for the, rest of the, for the rest of the room, as long as you're holding the flat file, they are gone. So that means that we can just get free curse room access. This is one of my new favorite trinkets. Because being able to just enter a curse room for free makes playing as certain characters that much, like, more epic. So just because I want to get two quick kills, I'm going to take the Bible with me. As much as I do want to take uh, Guppy's head. Because Fly Hive is... Will you now? I'm going to take this pill with us. Uh, sorry, I was doing something on my phone. I'm probably going to throw up a BRB screen after I go to the next floor. I, just, I want to do something really quickly. It's not really like super dire important that I do it before the stream ends, but 
I do want to try to get this out of the way as quickly as possible. Just pause it. Okay, never mind, that was a waste of time. Uh, I'm back. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, so the item Pokey Go, by the way, makes it to where these uh, random things will show up and be friendly towards us. So we still unlock the Mystery Egg item, which is a familiar that will fly next to you. And it has an effect when you get hit, but we'll save that for when the time comes to show it off. So we have the uh, this Viz that's charmed. He's just gonna like fire lasers out of his vagina stomach that'll help wipe out the enemies a lot faster. Viz is probably, uh, the Viz is probably one of the uh, best charmed enemies you can probably ask for because as I said the Viz are the strongest. So there's the intruder redaction. Ooh. Oh yeah, so this whole thing with these poison clouds is because of Acid Baby. If you take a pill while you have Acid Baby, he'll fill the room with gas. Fuck you. Alright, so we don't get boss rush again, but that's fine. Uh, holy light. So it was either... Uh, holy light or habit. Holy light makes it to where on occasions we'll have like a uh, light beam of light just come down and wipe out enemies as you saw there and when we have since we have a uh, almond milk we fire really like a lot of the time so that uh, beam of light is a lot more common to happen than you'd think than it's supposed to I should say I also think it's probably like luck dependent like dependent on your luck stat because there's not really a lot of there's some items that do manipulate the or that do rely on the luck stat to function. And then there are some items that just don't affect, or some that you would think affect, that luck affects, but they don't <laughs> at all. Really hoping that pill would have took care of these guys because those guys were annoying. Hey, another pill. Pheromones. This charms all the enemies in the room. But not like the charm's gonna do any effect or have like any kind of good for us. I mean, so just okay. Survive, please survive. I'm running into too much shit. I also kind of blame the fact of almond milk. <laughs> it's a damage downgrade. Health. Thank god. Alright. Shh. 
shit. Don't die on me today. Experimental pill. See, no downsides. <laughs> That's actually really nice. This is only utero one, so this will not instantly kill the boss. Steady long legs again. Uh, he's not too bad of a. All right. Uh, thanks for coming into the stream. See you guys in my next one.